Man, Andy is uh, Andy is a one of a kind kind of fella. The, the series has done its niceness of uh, methods of being very crazy and weird. And from what I saw online, that Volume One is actually going to be released early from high demand, which is very very exciting for me because I've I've been fronting the series since the start. I've been enjoying it, but the thing that makes me very curious is what if after you know the success of chainsaw man and hopefully undead unlocked the next the next wave of series to kind of catch that catch that same vibe is just being really weird and <laughs> strange series like you know like these two i would be okay with that i want to see more of these weirdies but as it is you have this girl you know gina she's one of the people in that uh, organization and she's revealed to have a thing for Andy, who, you know, she was the one that captured him 50 years ago. And he's, like, talking about her, um, talking about, unless, or 40 years, rather. But, or was it 50? Was it 50? I don't know. Either way, she's, uh, yeah, she says, uh, 50, oh, yes, 40 years and then 10 years of being captured. But because of that, she, uh, she developed the thing for him during, like, the time that he was, uh, during the time that she was kind of monitoring him and he was just being like a cool guy and like when she was like trying to apologize oh you were defeated and all this sorry about it he's just like oh not a big deal i lost whatever i can die in all sorts of ways so i'm just gonna try and figure out uh how exactly all this works so i'll have a rematch at some point and she realized he was so cool because he's just a he's a chill guy i wonder why they didn't like try and look in the fact he's got a little slab of like metal or something in his head while they were there, maybe it was something they were planning and researching later. But now, now they're saying like for 40 years, they, he was like uh, just gone. Or yeah, because it was, you know, it was 40 years prior that he was captured. And then, you know, he was away from them for four years. There we go. Anyway, uh, but she's like talking to them and saying, you know, the, you know, that since they've met and done all these things. And she's met, since she's met Izumo, she's been lucky enough to run into uh, Andy after 40 years. But like while she's talking... They're just throwing grenades at her, and then just, like, the explosions are just bursting all around. But she is not, uh, she's not really phased by it at all. That She has, like, this sphere of influence around her. And she's, uh, upset that Izumo is, uh, you know, right, pretty much just riding on, uh, on his back. But, I mean, she's not gonna get her chance. She seems a little bit too crazy. Izumo's, uh, very nice, but, uh, I'd say... She's nice and dedicated, but a little bit, uh, a little bit wackier in her own sense, but still okay. But while testing out, like, uh, what her power is, you, Andy can't get his sword through. He, you can see, like, the lines of this barrier from, like, explosions and, you know, just, uh, attacks hitting. But they're being smart. They're trying to see, you know, what exactly they can do. They still use flashbangs. Obviously, like, the, the light is still gonna, you know, blind her and the, the loud sound of it is gonna cause some issues. But relatively, she seems fine. But at the same time, she's kind of annoyed that it's being hard for her to kind of get close because he's either just throwing attacks or, ran, you know, main tactical retreats, not running away, tactical retreats. But from that uh, short moment, they're able to figure out what exactly is going on with her attack. What exactly is the potential behind her power? They're like, okay, what do we know so far? She solidified the lake. She made it hard so she can walk on it. She tele telepathically lifted up with tele you know tele telekinetically rather tele uh, telepath I think telepath is like the overall arcing for people with psychic powers but there's like oh she can create invisible walls and barriers and stuff that being her main ability and while trying to figure it out he's using like his parts bullet you know shooting his uh, part of his finger at her which is uh, it's a really cool power reminds me of uh, Kimi Mara when he would shoot like the bones in his fingers at someone. But like here he's just straight shooting the whole thing at him with like regenerated speed. But from that she takes off her hat and throws it and it just chops him. It's like a, I don't know that guy from Mortal Kombat. That's off the top of my head, but you know, is it Mortal Kombat? I assume so. Somebody will prove me wrong otherwise or just, you know, name the guy. She throws it and just cleaves right through Andy like a, you know, like a circular saw and here he's just left uh once again you have to regenerate he's just naked he's, the dude's got like his dong out and like every single chapter of this series but uh from that now he's being really smart he knows what's up he's, he's started to learn exactly about her powers but while discussing things 
you have Andy just saying like it doesn't really matter, you know, what goes on. And even if uh, even if she's like saying, "Oh, give up on this unlucky girl," he's like, "Nope, uh, too bad. This girl's mine. She's my ticket to die. I'm not letting anywhere take anyone take her until I, you know, I, I get what I want from her." And it's from the Andy. Andy being smart but <laughs> super goofy at the same time. He puts a grenade in his mouth, then cuts off his head, where his head shoots up, and like his body reforms, explodes, and then. Uh, just the blood splatters everywhere. His whole body just explodes. Blood covers the place and just rains down. And you can see at that point, it, you know, it's, you've probably seen like a, a similar occurrence like with a lot of fictions. Like, oh, an invisible guy, you throw paint on him or something. Because even if they can make themselves invisible, it's not like they can make the paint invisible. That, that's a whole different power in general if you can make other stuff invisible. But you see this really cool, I love this panel. It's very... It's very simplistic and yet just very cool to look at because you have these big, weird, spooky hands all visible. Now, it reminds me of uh, Elf and Lead, the way that their hands were and, you know, the way that you saw them just kind of looming out and then where their barrier. He's saying her power unchange. I'm guessing that's like she can change the properties of something like, oh, you know, I'll make water solid, uh, you know, instead of uh, it being grounded by gravity, maybe she could make it uh, you know, reversed. I don't know. I I'm very curious of... The full like explanation of it, uh, maybe yeah, that, that'll have something to do with. Uh, well, because then I'm wondering of like where in that is like her whole hands and barriers. Is that just a, you know byproduct of it? It's really this weird manipulation of when the hands touch things. I don't know. We'll probably get a better explanation in the next chapter, which again I'm really looking forward to. I want to see how exactly they beat her because if she's got this all around barrier and these like hands, how are you going to get around that? My only idea is like maybe from underground when you have characters like with these bubble like influences around them i assume going underground would be like that and you know maybe they can't attack from beneath them because uh, otherwise it'd be like well maybe if they jump in the air that full sphere is completed or if it is just a scene a bubble and not a full sphere and maybe it doesn't protect against attacks from below them i i, I don't know we'll, we'll see because then it's it's like the object of, or the question rather of how exactly you defeat them. You know, you've run into some characters with like crazy barriers and stuff and crazy like weird abilities that, you know, it's like, okay, the idea is how do you get around them? But with this, it's an extra power on top of that. I don't know. We'll see. The un the unlucky power, probably as it hacks is, might be the, the thing to go for. You can see, uh, you actually can see uh, Andy's head is through Izumo's shirt, so his skin should be touching her skin, so her, her unlucky power should be pretty much charging up at the moment. Anyway, other than that, comment below, tell me your thoughts about this chapter. I, I, I don't want this character to die, I like her, I like Gina so far. I'm hoping maybe they make some form of exception and, and say, okay, we'll have an 11th member or something, or maybe say, oh, we'll take you you know one of you and then you know the other one can be like an assistant or something to the other who knows but other than that uh comment below uh tell me your thoughts about this chapter thumbs up the video friend the like button and subscribe button and check out my other videos but that appreciate sure everybody's already subscribed and i thank you all for listening bye